Hello and welcome back to my 3D Studio Max tutorials. Today I would like to show you the progress that I've made in 3D Studio Max over the time that I've been using it. So I've created a new animation. As you can see we've got a house here. This house was created through another Autodesk software called Rivet. It's not it's nothing professional, but I had to create a house for a particular assignment so I'm going to show you my animation quickly and then I'm going to teach you how to create a first person view for your biped so let's just go to the first camera here that I created and this is on my um, biped this this view so this is the first person view right here so I'm just gonna click play we got another camera over here And it's just an animation of another person dancing. And as you can see, the camera is stuck to his head because that is the first person view. So let's press P to get out of the camera. As you can see, we came from inside his head here. So if I look from another camera angle, you'll be able to see differently. Yeah. And if we move frame by frame, you can see that the camera is on his head to create um, a first person view which I thought was pretty cool so I thought I would share it with you guys here we have the one the, the dancing biped and over here we have the, the corner or bird's eye view should I say and yeah now I got this animation from a website so I didn't create this but it's just I needed to create something with a storyboard to it, so a story, and this is what I created. Let's just go to this guy's view. No, oh, wrong one. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, it's fairly simple to create. It's nothing too technical. a little fast but it's not really nothing to worry about the teacher was all right with it so I haven't got a problem with it so now I'm going to show you quickly how to create this first person view so let's go out here okay yeah don't don't worry about that <laughs> um, okay so Let's go out the way a bit somewhere. Oh no, this will have to do anyway. So we'll get our biped. There we go. And now we're going to want to go to cameras. I, with the first person view, I normally go with target, but it's it's completely down to how you want your animation to be so for now I'm just going to use a target camera which it can be quite difficult to manage you'll see that now but I will show you how to how to do it so you could do it for your own animation if you'd like okay so we need to go to select and see with the um, target camera the camera follows this point here so you just need to adjust both of them the camera and this target point here now we need to try and get the camera lined up with his head so not this bit this bit goes in front of his face so we'll get that done in a minute really so what we need to do is to link it to his head because otherwise if we just put the camera inside the head the camera's just going to stay there and it's not going to do anything so what we need to do is we need to go navigate up to here where it says select and link click that and then we click the camera and you can see there's a little animation showing us that we can do it and now you left click 
drag it to his head and make sure it's on his head and you can see it glowing and then let go and now it's linked so now all we need to do is get the camera inside his head so we can see properly and then yeah that's the first person view I'll do it for you quickly just to show you properly how to do it it takes a little time to a little bit of time to adjust it and make sure everything's done properly but when it's done properly it, it is worth it so it's it's a nice little thing to have in your animation okay so it looks like we've got it but and to check to see how your camera looks just press c and there we go you can adjust your camera view from inside the camera so go to orbit view you can you can change it like that or you can do click this one field of view and it zooms in and out and this is your camera view so to get out of that you just press p and now we've been released um, so i'm not really satisfied with how it is because it's not really in his face yet so just going to do that quickly but yeah it's nothing it's nothing too complicated but it is a new feature that I learned. Thought it was pretty useful to to know, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. So yeah, make sure the camera's inside his head because it gives it a proper first person view and just make sure the lens is sticking out slightly. Not too much, but it's just something like this. And then to check how it looks, yeah, as you can see, it's not done properly so we just go back out again and just keep adjusting it like this until you're satisfied with it really yeah. okay can be a little tricky this one let's see mm. let's have a look camera seven yeah i think we've got that so just to make sure that it looks all right, I'm just going to put something in front of him just so we can see if it's actually going well. So we're just going to put down anything, uh, just a cone, just in front of him so we can see it from a first person angle. Go back to his camera view. And yeah, so yeah, what I was saying about adjusting the camera, it's much easier if you do it when you're actually inside the camera like this. So we go to, um, I think it was orbit. Yeah, and look, you can just adjust the view of the camera. So you can have it to your preferred choice. And yet now we have a first person view, which is pretty cool. Just one more rotation around. Yeah, something, something went wrong with this guy. He's For some reason his footstep ended up here and it wouldn't let me change it, but it kind of gives it this zooming into the animation effect, so I don't really mind it too much. But, but yeah, here we go. First person view. Just make sure you have select and link selected and you link the camera to the head. I would recommend linking it before you put it inside the head because it makes it a bit harder when you do it. So say from like here, just link it and then link it, but I've already done that. But yeah, that's how you create a first person view. And I just wanted to keep you updated with what I've recently learned. And yeah, we'll just go through the animation one more time. And here we are. My new and improved animation. It's come a long way from the the teapots and the plane but yeah i hope you enjoyed this and i hope it helped someone let me know in the comments section um yeah 